Okay, God bless you, Brother Paul. God bless you too, Mom. How are you? I am good. I'm good, and it's good to see you. And um, yeah. you've got one bright light I see, and I'm going to be pleased when you get the other lights to balance out the light in the room. That's going to be wonderful. Yeah. All right. But this is yeah. good for today. The internet's up, and we're happy about that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, God hi. bless you. It's good to be, it's weird, but it's good to be with you on a Thursday. <laughs> it's good to be with you. And we are so pleased uh, to have this time with you. And uh, we're going to get started with a word yeah. of prayer. And uh, Reverend Eunice. Reverend Eunice is going to open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify you. We glorify you, Lord. Father, you are our strength. You are our strength like no other, Lord God. Father God, it is such a blessing, Lord, that you have made a way for us to be able to come together and to fellowship and to sing praises unto you and to quote your word, Lord God, with the young people, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for your provision, Lord. We thank you, God, for your presence and your direction in this service, in this fellowship, Lord God. Breathe through our pastor once more, Lord God, as she speaks your word, God, in the name of Jesus. Our desire is to please you to be more like you, Lord God. So we're praying, God, for an understanding of your word in Jesus' name. We ask that you would have your way and that you will be glorified in every single thing that is said and done. We invite your presence, Lord, in Jesus' name, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you, Reverend Eunice, Sister Laquita, welcome. Amen. Good to see you. And Brother Paul, we are ready to hear from the children. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you all and God bless everyone for availing yourselves for this time and making yourself ready and available for us. So we are happy to fellowship with you today and we thank God for each and everything that he has been able to do using you to our orphanage. So we thank God for everything. We, are, we, are, we thank God for you guys. We thank God for the Shekinah Worship Center, the family of Shekinah. We thank God for that also. We thank God for the, for the good relationship that he has enabled us to have for the past, for the past years and for the, the, the achievement you've been able to, to bring up through this relationship. We really thank God for everything. We don't take it for granted that it had to happen. No, we count it as a blessing and we give it all to the glory of God. So thank you very much. Today, we are going to sing and give the Bible verses. Today, we're going to give Psalms chapter 27, verse 1 to 11. I believe it's going to be a blessing. So we shall sing and then we shall quote the Bible one and then the poem.
I think somebody needs to hear it today. I want you to understand that God has his eye upon you. God sees you and there is greatness in you. That's why you are a great hope children's home. So you're not there because someone forgot you or dropped you off, 
You are where you are because God's hand is upon your life. And Brother Paul, if you need to interpret that after the session, please do, because that is so important. All right. Yeah, They're not beg they, Yeah, they are not beggars. Yeah, they that. are children of the king. They are not less. Yeah. They are more than a conqueror. I just yeah. needed to say yeah. that. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Well, today, you know, we got the lesson. And the object lesson for today, let me put on my scriptures. Amen. And again, thank you. Thank you for your ministry. It's always appreciated. I, we, we can see the teenagers way at the back. And you encourage us. We see you moving. We see you singing. You are a blessing. So the lesson for today. Let's see if we can figure out <laughs> what I have here. Okay. So the... Who knows what I'm holding? Okay, I'll hold one. Well, kind of, well, maybe, I don't know. What's that? Who knows what that is? That or these? These are what? These? Yes, they are socks. I heard you. These are emergency socks. Well, anyway, we'll just leave that alone. That's when you rather get screwed. So today I want to talk about the sock. Why? Do we wear socks? Well, my primary reason to wear the sock is to keep warm and comfortable. I want to be warm. Let me tell you something about me. These, my Bermudians may know, but you may, you don't know. If I am cold, I, 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 can't, I can't write. I can't put a sermon together. No, 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 no. Uh, matter of fact, my heater, if I had another camera look, my heater is right here, right here. And it's on. And it's 70 something degrees outside. Listen, let me go back to socks. These socks keep me warm so that I'm comfortable. Because when I'm warm and comfortable, I'm settled and I can hear what God is saying and write what I need to write. If you're uncomfortable, you're not settled. What is my message to you today? I want you to know the most comforting thing for me in existence it's the Bible. <laughs> it's my comforter. And that actually makes sense because the Holy Spirit, the comforter, spoke to men and they wrote the Bible. So when you Read God's word. And, and then when you memorize God's word, just like you do, when you do that, hear me, your life will be more comfortable. It will be an easier life when you learn the scriptures and you get comfortable with them. The scriptures become your suck, becomes your sucks. God provides his word. God rescues you. Hey, that's right. All about being comforted by the word of God. He, God must be your first comfort because he never changes. And so I want to share this scripture verse with you. First Peter 5 and 7, it says... Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Let me read it again. Casting all your care upon him, because he cares for you. In other words, when you're going through something and you're uncomfortable, if you go to God's word, 
you'll find comfort there because Jesus hears you because he's your loving savior. What a wonder you are, Jesus. And so he meets you. And so I want you to repeat this after me. I want you to say, the Bible is my comforter. You say it. The Bible is my comfort. Good. That was really good and nice and clear. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. And when you're going through anything, you want to be able to pull back the scriptures that you're learning. You, you've learned them. I'm going to tell you, you know more scripture than some Christians, adults. So you've got God's word in you to succeed. Set your mind to succeed in any situation because with God, all things are possible. So that's your lesson for today, the sock lesson that God is your comforter, the Bible is your comforter, and we're just comfortable. And I like being comfortable. All right. Well, I'm going to invite uh, Sister Laquita, yes, Sister Laquita, to give some commentary on the lesson. Sister Laquita. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Pastor Seaman. That was lovely. <laughs> the comforter. And I love the... Um, I, I, I love the example that you use with socks. I am absolutely a socks person and they have to be very soft um, and, and, and lovely on my feet. So I absolutely understand um, what Pastor was saying about the comforter. And um, uh, uh, one of the other scriptures in the Bible, uh, it, it, I believe it's John 14 and 16. Um, when when Jesus was speaking to his disciples and letting him know that they letting them know that he was not going to leave them um, comfortless and that he was going to leave them with a comforter that would abide with them forever. So Pastor was saying today that the comforter is with us forever and wants to abide with us and us with it forever. Um, and, and I love the, the analogy uh, where, where Pastor likened socks to the word of God, the word of God. It, it, it's another scripture says, thy, thy word have I hidden my heart that I might not sin against thee. And pastor made emphasis on remembering your Bible verses and continuing and continuing. The more, the more memory verses that you remember, the more you are learning the Bible. And whenever you come into situations that will challenge you, those scriptures will come in and rush in like a tidal wave and pick you up. Thy word have I hidden in my heart. It is a tool and it will prepare you and it will be that weapon that you need. It will comfort you when you feel comfortless. Pastor started off by making such a strong and bold affirmation over your lives when she said you are here on purpose for a purpose you're not there because somebody else made a decision about your life who you are was defined at calvary hallelujah who you are Amen. was defined at calvary when a man that you knew not gave his life for you that's where your worth sits hallelujah so the word no matter what you're going through get in that bible and learn the word it will empower you it will encourage you it will lift you it will be that pair of socks in your spiritual coldness hallelujah that's my word of encouragement to you god bless you and stay encouraged you encourage me every time i lay eyes on you i love you and it's a privilege to worship with you amen <laughs> amen thank you sister laquita what an awesome honor it is to serve you great hope children's home now, Brother Paul, do you have anything to add to our time together before we close out? 
yeah, it's it's been a wonderful time uh, to hear to hear you express how much you're there for us to motivate us and how much important each and every one of us is. And together with our God, the spiritual food that you give to us, it helps us a lot to learn that God is always there to give us. Whenever we go through trials, he's always there for us. So we really thought for each and everything, each and everything is a blessing. The word of God, time we spend together, everyone has waited, everything is a blessing. It counts a blessing. So thank you all very much. We really appreciate it. And God will bless you, Father. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Paul. It is a blessing. It's a blessing to give. Your giving of your ministry, yourself, the children are giving. Uh, we're giving. And because of that, we're all receiving and we are all blessed. That's why the Bible said it is more blessed to give than to receive. It's, it's joyous. And so we are thankful for being with you today. And uh, God willing, we'll be seeing you. God willing, should the, should the world remain headed in the direction she is, we will see you in November. We will see you in November yeah. 2022. And so we are looking forward to being in Kenya. And um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> And uh, I'm, I'm so excited that that's where our goal is now. And um, to God be the glory. Uh, I felt it in my spirit. And now I believe it is coming, yes, to pass for this year. So we look forward to being right in that room in November, the later part of November, in that room. Amen. And I'll be preaching to you right there with an interpreter. So, Brother Paul, things are exciting uh, over here as we now begin to communicate uh, about being with you in November. So, just know that that is on schedule now. How, how yeah, you feel yeah. about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, that uh, for that day, we won't need to use any internet. Yeah, oh. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah. We, we got, nope. Nope, we're gonna have video, video, videos and GoPro. Oh no, semen comes packed yeah. with the video. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, so no, no internet will be needed. And I'm gonna, I'm, we are gonna meet you all. We're gonna take pictures. Oh, let me see how I start getting excited. Let me slow down, let me slow down. But I am excited. So, <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. So God is doing a great thing. And like I said, when we give and you give, we all get blessed. We're all happy. Amen. This is what Jesus is about. And so we thank God for that. <laughs> all right, well, we're about to close down so I can get back to some other kind of work. Uh, we're going to have, uh, now, I don't know, Eunice, y'all got 20 seconds if you wanted to say something, and then Reverend Trot, you will close out Elder Trot in prayer. Oh, praise the Lord. We are just so excited with the announcement. Hallelujah. Come November, Lord spares life. We are so looking forward to seeing each and every one of you in person. And just know that you all are very much to love. God loves you. We love you. But God loves you even more than you can ever imagine. Beyond your comprehension, God loves you. And because God loves you, he loves us because he has given you all to us. He has given us to each other. So we love you. We thank God for you and continue to be encouraged. 
Be safe, have a blessed week, and continue to memorize that word. As Sister Laquita said, hide mm. that word in our heart so that we will not sin against God, so that we can be uplifted, so that we can be strengthened, so that we can be comforted. Pastor Sam, this sucks. I like a comforter pulled up to my neck. My covers are pulled right up and just my head is out. That's my comforter. And pastor said, the word of God is our comforter. Hallelujah. Continue to be encouraged and continue to be blessed. Love you all. Well, one more time, boys and girls. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to be here. And I thank God for the announcement. And I'm going to get my suitcase out now. And I have to stop packing because there's much I need to do because I have two suitcases to pack. So I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. God spares my life, please God. I will be there. I will be there. I'm so looking forward to it. So, oh my God. Anyway, let us pray. Father, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. God, for this relationship, first of all. God, that you've allowed to develop. God, we thank you because as it has developed, it has grown to more than a relationship, but a love. God, the love that you've given us for great hoods, God. We pray, God, today for each and every one of the young people, God, that as they go from day to day, as they learn your word from day to day, that it will become a part of their meals, God. As they eat their breakfast and their lunch and their dinner, they will eat your word that will take them through. Thank you for Brother Paul, God. Thank you for his diligence, God, to work with these young people. Bless him, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our Pastor Seaman, God, for her diligence, God. Thank you for the word of God that she brings, God. It may be so simplistic, God, but it's powerful, God, in your word. Thank you, God, for our fellow brethren, our Reverend Eunice and our sister Laquita. Bind us all together. Protection upon the children. Pastor Seaman, Sister Laquita, and Reverend Eunice. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, amen. everyone, for your service to God today. And, you know, and this is especially to the adults and those that understand this level of sobriety that I speak with. We are ambassadors and our work and our labor, it has eternal ramifications. It's very serious. And we don't take it lightly. God trusts us to do this work. And so I'm very grateful for that. Amen. And again, it will be another level of honor to be there in your midst, Brother Paul, to be with the children and to be able to teach right there. Oh, my heart is indicting a good matter. And so prayerfully, the world situation continues to stabilize and behave itself. Um, I believe it is so. Amen. So just know that we are planning towards that and we will be in contact with you as we continue to do that. We love you all very much. You are valuable and God bless you. All right, so we'll see you next week, Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. All right? Yeah, see you. Yeah. All right. God bless everyone. Thank you, fellow ministers. All right, children. God bless you. Continue to do a God whatever you do. Bye. Bye, everyone. Love you to life. Bye-bye.
God bless you. God bless you. Take good care, young people. Do your best in everything. Make God proud. Make God proud in everything that you do. Amen. God bless. All right. Amen.